This is D Marie Comedian. If you're offended by this video, uh, do like a broke chick and tell your story walking. We out! What up, everybody? It's your boy D Marie Comedian, aka the Faceless Caseworker, back at it again. Today I'm talking about hood vlogs. For those who don't know, uh, hood vlogs is an interesting channel. Shout out to the guy who does that, don't know his name. But hood vlogs go across, all across America in the hoods. And uh, he lets people explain the hood and the history and different things. All right now, obviously it's hood, so most of the neighborhoods are mostly gang affiliated stuff like okay. that. Projects that had indictments, feds and stuff like that. Rico. So, watching the video will show anyone who doesn't know anything about the streets or gangs or crime or stuff like that, but show you the ignorance of the individuals that live in those neighborhoods. Now, when I say ignorance, there's no. Uh, Clearly, people hear word and they just get quickly, fast, and filled by disrespect. But I'm speaking about ignorance, meaning the things that these individuals don't know that they don't know. Okay? You can't blame somebody for something you don't know. You're going to learn today, Chico. You don't know. Now, they speak, you know, they always start about in, uh, um, the same type of uh, information. The guy, the vlog guy doesn't really ask any questions. He just lets them speak. So they just ramble, ramble, ramble. The first line they always start off with, Stop right there and hit the like button right now. Hit the like button. Subscribe now. It's going down. You're welcome them to blank, fill in the blank somewhere that projects or neighborhood they're from. It's the realest, the most infamous blob. They'll tell you about everything like some kind of Hollywood tour. Now, right across the streets where my cousin got abducted by aliens. How vicious their project and neighborhood is. They'll admit their gang affiliation. They'll tell you exactly where their block is from and all these things. How many friends they I was died. But you'll never hear any of them. Before I even go there, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It's going down. Right? You will never hear them say how they want to get out. They talk like they're happy to be there, right? Now, me being from New York, for instance, they have a few of them about the New York project, right? And me being from New York, I see them, and the guys are talking about how infamous and how they have the biggest indictment sure and all this. Who cares about that? You're happy about having the biggest indictment in a housing project that you can only live in if you have Section 8? Somebody hollered back at me, Section 8, people, look it up. Section 8 means that you or your family and you are struggling you Facts. probably make less than eight hundred dollars a month. Facts. You have a low income. You probably have some kind of mental illness or disability. Shout out to those who have mental. Illness. Give your grandmother her food stand card back. Ability who are doing something about it, and pray for those who have not figured out that they need help. But here you have here people here who have diagnoses that don't exist. You know that they're in these projects in these neighborhoods and they yappity yap yap. You'll never hear them talk about the economics. They'll talk about that's where they're from. And we understand they may not be able to get out, but all the stuff they talk about, how they doing this and doing that, but you don't see any of them talking about what they're doing, okay. going to school or anything. They just talk about how they were locked up and yeah, they were all in jail together and all this type of weirdo stuff. Now, Hood Vlog is doing a great job to show the uh, lack of knowledge and information despite the internet being a whole web pool full of stuff you could use to get out of your situation. You have individuals who still praise and brag about it. Now, if you were from someone who opposes this, maybe a, a, a political party, a group, whatever that feels that some people are keeping themselves in a the situation and, and are against any of the funding that Democrats and different groups give, you would look at this, these videos and say, these people want to be here. What else would you learn? You could look at black history, like critical race theory. They want to plant in schools and say, yo, these people have been through a lot, slavery and all this stuff. But then you look at this video where, you know, you could easily go in on fill out a college degree online, never step in school, get a degree, read books, all type of stuff. And none of these people take advantage of any, but they're here bragging about their projects, how their projects are so infamous and so great. And this is where it started. And yibbity, yabbity, 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 do. Okay. They always talk about where they're at, but never talk about where they're going. So we're back with it again. The gangs. The gangs clearly are confused and need someone else to lead them. Your leaders, whoever you got leading you, OG, fill in the blank, whether he's sending you messages from prison like YSL, you guys have, have no direction. Maybe you're just in love with waking up and doing nothing all day and uh, being frustrated with your life and taking out your anger with pistols or other people's bodies. Is that what you guys like? Because that's what it seems. 
Multiple people shot in New York City and all across the country yesterday through the weekend. Very nice weekend. Summer Jam was going down. I was there. It was popping. Um, it was going down, you know. And But here you have people still being shot. And this hood vlog still explains the lack of knowledge and ignorance going across these ghettos and why people can't get out. Me being someone who's born in the Bronx, uh, I'm also a victim of violence and I've also been Thug life and Rikers. I have also been, you know, a victim of the, um, the criminal institution and system that traps many of us. But here I am today, living a great life and trying to explain, understand, and help individuals or anyone who's listening, the demographic, that you don't, listen, this, the more you go up and hold on to these things that are bad for you, the worse your life is going to be. Do you care about your kids? Do you care if your kids grow up in great neighborhoods? Do you want your father who wasn't there, who went to San Quentin or wherever Nowhere. he went, Attica, who was not there for you, to, to, for your kids to fall to the same line and join a stupid gang that gets you nowhere. Because at the end of the video, there's always one smart guy in the video who talks about, man, this gang stuff ain't about nothing, man. You know, I've been there, done that. You need to spread that message more. You need to spread that message louder. Are you fearful of the people in your own neighborhood that's going to stop you from saying gangs are dumb? Shout out to that one guy in one video I watched. I think it was somewhere in Cali. He was a crypt, and he was saying it's stupid. Right? And he's talking about older guys, 30, 30 something, that want to get jumped in a gang. Because to get in a gang, all you have to do is get jumped in and get beat up. Is that some kind of a sign up? Imagine you had to get a job, and that's all you have to do is get beat up. But the job was to drive a truck. You don't know how to drive a truck, but all you got to do is get your butt whipped, and you can be in the company. You would crash the car, and people would die. So even then, you're, you're joining members into your gang. You don't even know where they have a sense and ability. It's just that they could take a beat down. That's all you know when you join these people to your gang. They could be snitches, snakes, rats, done. phonies, ops, some other gang. You want to join these people to your gang just by jumping them in? That's a whole nother story. Hood Vlog shows you the ignorance and the lack of knowledge that most of these cats in these gangs have. And their, um, their compassion for crime and ignorance and violence. They wake up, they don't do anything because they live in Section 8 apartments. The rent is cheap. Their grandmother's probably seen now or something. It doesn't even pay attention to what they're doing. They got guns all in the house. The grandmother don't even know. Let's be. Let's talk about those things in the hood vlog. The hood vlog. You live in poverty in a Section 8 apartment with multiple people living in there and are happy with it. You wake up, drink St. Eyes or Old English like Crip Mac, and you are happy with your sick situation. Did your mother, whether she was struggling or, or maybe uh, lacked the knowledge that you that you lack as well, what didn't do a great job? Okay, but now if you're so smart to go on and speak it, your truth, you should have intelligence to know that you can change your life. Right? Hood vlog shows you the ignorance of gangs and why gangs need to be eliminated from America. I messaged somebody left a message on my uh, one of my videos saying that I should. Waste, I'm wasting my time trying to stop gangs that never stop. It's a part of the economic system. That's correct. But we need to make a change for ourselves. You're waiting for the government to do it. You need to implement. That is why I'm coming with Yokopedia, a nonprofit organization that's going to work on security and using the data and information to assess and help and solve some of these problems, including the gangs. Let's stop it where it starts, people. Oh, yeah. And your breath stinks. Since I'm a D. Marie comedian, I was dropping jewels. But damn, your breath stinks. This is your boy, D. Drop Marie it. Me comedian, aka the faceless caseworker. Get out and drop your goddamn flag. It's a waste of time. And get yourself a mind. Till next time, we out of here.